what's up y'all you checking out the frequent flyer if you're just returning welcome back this here is the mantis 85 from happy model this has become one of my favorite little tiny flyers this thing is a blast to fly really awesome little flyer here and it's really small and it has a decent punch even though it only has six amp escs i think six amps is enough to support 3s but I'm scared to try it because this is such a nice model. I really like to fly it. And so I'm afraid to try it with 3S. I did swap out the connector here for an XT30. Didn't really need to because it wasn't falling out of the sky or anything. Doing any brownouts or anything like that. Because it's only 6 amp ESCs. But most of my batteries are already converted to XT30. So that's why I did that mod. But the battery it comes with is not that good anyhow. It's only 30C. And it even though it doesn't brown out, it doesn't have as much punch as the other better batteries that I have with the XT30 connection on it. So I swapped it. And for comparison, here is my King Kong 90 GT. Now it flies kind of similar to the 90 GT. If you guys remember my review of the 90 GT, I really love this one. This is a really awesome one right here. like the way it flies. And this one improves on a few things that was left out in the 90 GT. Uh, for starters, this one has a buzzer. Also, it has OSD. So this little guy has OSD. And you can change your PIDs and all right out on the field with the uh, transmitter. And this is the FR Sky version. One thing I don't like about the FR Sky version though, FR Sky receivers in general, you can't get too close to the transmitter. Like you can't fly it too close to yourself or the, the transmitter will say RF signal critical telemetry lost. And sometimes it'll even fall on you. So you lose signal when you get too close to yourself with this thing. <laughs> and I think that's uh, kind of weird. Uh, not good at all because I like to bring it in close to me all the time and I'll get that uh, Audible alert there and I'll have to fly away or hurry up and catch it or Whatever I'm going to do. I heard someone say that they lost signal in the air like away from themselves But that has never happened to me. I get great range and reception with it with the Tyrannus and uh, this is just a really nice flyer. I like this thing. And I'm thinking about trying to do a mod on here. This camera isn't that bad, but it is CMOS. And once you guys know, <laughs> I said once you go to a CCD camera, a run cam, micro, or that arrow or whatnot, then you don't want to go back. <laughs> so I'm thinking about trying to mod this. It looks like a run cam will fit in here. It looks like it'll clear. Looks like there's enough space in between the two props here. As you can see, if I put a run cam in there, I think it'll uh, just take up a tiny bit more space than this one as far as width is concerned. And this is just held in with a screw here holding on to this lens there. So I think the run cam with the narrow lens can probably fit in here. And as you can see, it's totally... Just depending on that that's the only thing holding it and so I might do that mod I might send this thing to the chop shop and put a run cam on here this thing would be awesome then it does have enough power these look like they're sunny sky motors but they're 1102 motors 9,000 kV whereas the King Kong ones are only 7800 kV 1103 so even though these are 1103 and these say 1102, check it out. <laughs> these 1102s are taller than the 1103. So I don't really <laughs> think that that is accurate. Uh, they say the, these are 1103s. And I have some other 1102 motors and they're 11,000 kV 1102 motors. And they're just the same size as these. So they're taller than my uh, King Kong 1103s as well. And they're touted as 1102. 11,500 KV. So uh, that's just another thing to note. The, these motors are an improvement as well. So it improves a few things 
at just about everything it improves over the 90 GT. It has an adjustable camera angle there. That's an improvement. We already mentioned the motors are a higher KV. The 4-in-1 ESC is a higher amp on it than the 90 GT as well. This one, 6 amps. That one is 4.5 amps or something like that. I know it's 4 amps. So this one will probably blow up <laughs> if you try to put a 3S on it. This one might as well, but they protect against this one. You can't put a 3S on this because they give you a balance lead for the power. And so, yeah, let's go check this thing out. Right, so we out here with the little Mantis. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. If you're too close, it, it won't have a signal. So you have to fly this thing away from yourself. So here we go. We're in Acro. Rates are a little low. Let's go for a punch out. And this is the 450 milliamp hour battery from the Ferry B Toad in here. Do some FPV. Really nice clear signal. Hardly any breakup at all. Fast little guy too. Slow it down. <laughs> that aggressive pitch on the camera angle makes you tend to fly it a little fast. Let's try to slow it down. Back to line of sight. Nice little flyer though. Little flutter there. Might have to adjust some. Might have to adjust some pits. Really nice flying though. to have a look at it. What's up, man? How you? And the gym fan quad blades work as well. The gym fan slash Rotor X 2035 props. They work. They fit. Do some more FPV. Got the buzzer. Buzzer going off on me. So that's it. Quick flight demo. 
of the Mantis 85 from Happy Model. Pretty good company. So far they put out two that I like. I really like the Toad as well. Thanks for watching. Let's see if I can show you the pigs. I think they're the same. Yeah, I didn't change anything on the pigs. I might need to lower the D gain on the pitch and roll a little bit. Show you guys the rates I was flying at. 0.74 and 7 on yaw. The super rolling pitch is 7 is point. 7-4. But that's it. Pretty awesome little flyer. Thanks for watching.